got I got a pair of sixes, guys. Pair of, nobody can beat a pair of sixes. You got eights. Two pair. Qu Come king, on, hearts. Queens and tens or whatever I got. Full Ooh. house. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. We're short, though. So we're, 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 oh, oh, I said I got hearts. So here comes oh, the heart. There we go. <laughs> I'm running hot. I got a lot of chips now. Man, I'm winning all the all ins this year. Hey, I work hard every motherfucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard, I work hard. Good morning, everybody. This is the studio, if you will. This is where you see me shoot all the YouTube videos and different things like that. New day, new life, new tournaments, new stuff. Let's go. Uh, yesterday, we wore the contender's clothes. Look at that. Let's, I'm going to go this way. That's weird. Okay. Yesterday, we wore the contender's clothing underwear. We wore the big stack. Okay. Guess what? We ended up with a big stack. Today, we're going to start. Something in my mouth. Excuse me, excuse me, be right back. Um, <laughs> you, so yesterday we wore the big sack underwear. Today, we're gonna be playing PLO, the 1K. Um, and in that game, we go all in. So, on that note, since we go all in a lot, Contenders Clothing, we're opening up a new pack. <laughs> These ones are fun too. Because the goal is to get all the money, right? So you wanna get all the money, and you gotta go all in to do it. Okay, Contenders Clothing use Promo code KIDPOKER20, save yourself 20% off. We got other, we got four different uh, t uh, types of underwear right now. We're gonna bring up, be coming up with cool stuff, but I like these ones too, with all the cash. Okay, so check them out. They're actually genuinely good quality and they're comfortable. So buy them, I don't know. Yeah, all right, what else was I gonna tell you? I'm sure I'll figure it out. I just woke up, we're playing PLO, put your underwears on, buy new underwear, it's Father's Day, come and get it. Oh, I know what else. Okay, other thing. Um, so we'll, you know, we're doing this thing every once in a while. I know a lot of you guys got the package where you have a piece of me throughout, but some of you that missed it, you know, I'm offering little pieces of single events. So tomorrow is a $50,000 no limit hold'em. We are gonna open up an opportunity for you guys to get 10% of each bullet, I believe, first bullet or second bullet. And uh, the key for you, so this is gonna be for you vlog watchers, nobody else, because they won't know. Because you know what, there's gonna be a password. You know what the password is? I believe. I believe you see the password. That's it. All in. A L L I N. That's the password. Go get you some of the 50K. Well, all right, peeps, we're taking our time. It's almost two o'clock. It's lunchtime. It's sandwich time. We're going to try something a little fun at home that I make uh, once in a while that I really enjoy. Starts with a little wrap, right? We're going to add lettuce. We're going to add some red onion. We're going to add some tomato. We're gonna then, well, well, we'll top it off. We'll top it off some mustard and Italian dressing because we're gonna make it, you know, a nice Italian style thing. And then we're gonna use as our base. We're gonna use this Eve's veggie salami. This one pack has a total of 33 grams of protein in this pack, and it's a total of 200 calories. Not too shabby. Then we're gonna add a slice of the Vio Life provolone cheese. Throw that in there, and some pickles, of course. Chop it all up. Roll it up. Do the thing. Inhale it. Okay, so we've laid down the base here. We got the mustard on there. We got the lettuce, tomato, the onion, the pickle. I'm gonna throw the Italian dressing right on that there. Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna add the Eve's Salam and the, let's get a little bit of that on there. Yeah, it gives a nice little kick, a little zing. And we're gonna put the rest of the stuff on now. Okay, finishing touches. We got the Salam, we're gonna put on the middle. We're gonna layer these guys right here. The whole pack, the whole pack. We're gonna have a nice big hearty sandwich. My mom, when she used to make me sandwiches when I was a kid, they were just like massive. They were huge. And you know, that's just, I, you know, like mama, like son, I guess. I'm gonna throw these all here. And then, you know, it is pretty stuffed. We got a lot in here, but we're gonna be able to wrap it up, turn it into a nice yummy burrito style Italian sandwich. Moment of truth. Mm -hmm. And off, listen to a little uh, hockey talk radio. <clears throat> All right, off we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing. Well, one tournament. One tournament started. It's two thirty. One tournament started at twelve. That was the one K PLO with two rebuys. 
uh, the 2 p.m. tournament is a 10K limit hold'em. Now, in past years, um, you know, we've, we're making a slight update to the strategy this year. In past years, I would have just played the 10K from the start and forgot about the 1K, not even bother with it. But, I don't know, I kind of had fun in the Gladiator. Let's play some, want to get some more volume in and give myself a better chance. And most importantly, most importantly, I'm very, 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 I get excited and I'm very happy with where my PLO tournament game is at. I feel very strong in PLO tournaments. I've had plenty of deep runs and, you know, the studio and just in general, I had uh, the half and half run we had before I made a mistake. Speaking of mistakes, guys, we got an oops -a meter to add. We got an oops meter. I thought about it overnight. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was dumb. All right, we're going to add one to the oops -a meter. This one's from the $300 Gladiator last night, kind of just after the rebuys. Guy in the cutoff goes all in for seven big blinds, 41,000. So 42 is seven, 41,000. I'm in the big blind and I have the king deuce of clubs. And I felt like, you know, and part of me was like, you know, to win these things, you got to spin. You got to be willing to spin. You don't got to be afraid to go all in. So I thought it was close enough and I called, but that's too late to call. He had ace five of spades. So against his specific hand, the call is fine, but against his range, it's just not that good. I mean, if you have king six suited, that's a much better hand because now if he has deuces, threes, fours, and fives, you're flipping, um, which is definitely all possible. So we're going to write that one down. That's just a clear cut bonehead oops a meter. Ding. Off we go. No oopsies today. No oopsies. PLO. Let's go. Here we have the gladiator line out the door and around the bend. Not today, folks. Not today. We did. We punched our ticket in this gladiator over here. We're going the other way. We're gonna go to the other late reg line, which shouldn't look like this. Oh, I don't even, there's like seven people. Look at that. All the way out the door, the Gladiator, a popular one. $300 buy-in, win yourself a bracelet, beat 30,000 players. Look, it's Josh Ari. What's up, buddy? I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we go. Much more manageable line. This I can handle, four people, easy peasy. All right, at my table is a mystery. There's a guy that's at my table. He looks mysterious, he looks familiar. Okay, this looks similar to the guy who won the mill, the mystery bounty. This is a play. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, we're playing poker now, ladies and gentlemen. What a tense moment here. One million dollars on the line. Call. He makes oh the call. Oh my gosh. Wow. Call of the summer so far. The river card is a seven of diamonds and it is right all now, over. Tyler Brown. Except that guy had really problem. long hair and it was everywhere. And, it since and apparently the, since he won, so that, so basically what you were saying is until you'd won the mystery bounty, you were never gonna cut that hair. Until I won a bracelet. Yeah. That was, I, I wanted to run deep, win a bracelet, get oh, the winner's man. photos, shave it all off. Well, I'm kind of happy for you, but at the same time, it would have been pretty cool to see like 10 years from now, <laughs> what that looked like, <laughs> if you dreadlocked it up. You can't dreadlock it up though, because you no, identify as no. white. Yeah, not allowed. Rules, man. I didn't make them. 33,400, 33,400. <laughs> So I just had an idea and it just came to me while I was sitting here, he was talking about events he's playing and I realized like, it just came to me right now that what I'm gonna do is, and you like this idea, I'm gonna win the $250,000 buying tournament in a couple weeks or something. I'm just gonna win that one. I'm not saying that's all I'm gonna win because that would just be like, okay, worth a lot of, but we're gonna win at least that one. That's the play. Well, this one's gonna be tough to win, but we got, we got work to do. We're gonna try to get it in, sure. play some pots, PLO. We spin the wheel. We are in against the man, the myth, the legend. What do you have? Two pair? Oh boy. I have also two pair, but I have backdoor hearts. We're in trouble. We're short though, so we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, I said I got hearts, so here comes the heart. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's beatable. He's invincible. He bleeds. Let's go. What do I got here? Five. That's eight. 86. Was this yours or mine? That's a good question. I don't think I put any chips. I don't think I put Mine? All right. So 87. 87, champ, let's go. I'm really hurt. Now. You tilted now? <laughs> Can't take it? You should do like Nacho did in the video. He, he just won like $5 million and we're in a $1,500 tournament. And he's like, so fucking believable. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck you call the flop. Why you call the flop? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're completely dead. That guy's all in, this guy's all I'm in. Drawing. We're so, oh, we're, I'm dead. I'm like really, I need back doors. I got back doors. I got a pair of sixes. Anybody beat a pair of sixes? He's got, I got a pair of sixes, guys. Pair of sixes. Nobody can beat a pair of sixes. You got eights. Two pair, Qu king, queens and tens or whatever I got. Full house. <laughs> oh, wow. Full house. Oh, I got a full house. 
<laughs> How the hell did I win this one? Oh my goodness. What did you get? Right. A pair of eights? Yeah, the, um, get a straight draw? 19-8. Oh, baby. Nice hand. Ooh, I don't know about a nice hand, hand, but you know, it worked out okay. Oh, you had oh, hearts, too. What did I have? You had a pretty good hand. I had a pretty good hand with all the backdoor <laughs> clubs, the this, the that. It was in better shape than expected, right? All your two pairs are good? Yeah. Now we got chips again. Oh, yeah. Send them to the, how you gonna get these chips now, hey? Eh? Now I got all these big chips and flake tight. Only the nuts, no more King Jack 10-6. None of that there. We got money, let's go. All right, we made uh, the break here. We got 64,000, start with 20. And guess what? Guess what? We even got a hand breakdown. All right, as promised, let's do a hand breakdown, PLO style, four cards. For those that don't know, four card PLO, you gotta use two from your hand, blah, blah, blah. All right, to the hand breakdown. Blinds are 300, 600. I'm sitting on a 60K stack. My opponent has more. He min raises to 1,200. Folds around. He, if he's in early position. Um, folds around, I mean, the big blind for a min raise. I'm going to defend a lot here, right? It's, you know, there's a big blind ante. It forces you in. So this hand more than qualifies. I have the ace of clubs, five of clubs, five of spades, ten of hearts. So I'm definitely going to defend here with another flush draw. Snack of five. The fives could become relevant later if some shenanigans happen. The flop's a pretty good one for us. It's ace of spade. Six of clubs, eight of clubs. So we have ace 10 at, at the moment, you know, which probably, you know, isn't all that worthwhile, but we do have the nut flush draw. So that, that's something to, to look at. We've also got lots of straight blockers. We've got the five, five and the 10. That's, you know, that's a lot of blocking of stuff that we could use later um, with some bluffs. But I decided to check, of course, he bets 1,000 and we have, cool. we just call. I don't think there's any point in raising with this hand here. You don't want to raise, get it in, like, you know, whatever. Just, if he has ace eight, for example, we only have a 10, a 5, and a club. It's not that much. If he has three aces, we're just drawing a flush. So we check call. Turn is the deuce of diamonds. I check. Now he elects to go a little bigger. He bets 3,500. Okay? So, what was that? 24, 33, 53. So he's betting about two-thirds pot, right? And at that price, out of position, if we just had a flush draw, like, it's really not all that. You know, you're really getting the right price with that. But we got extra things to think about. So I think about it for a minute. I'm like, all right. So we call. We're not raising here. We call. We can hit the flush. How much are we going to bet if we hit the flush? We have to decide on that. But in addition to that, we have to decide what we're going to do if straight card comes that the fives block, which is exactly what happens. I call the 3,500. The river is a four of hearts. Now the question is, do what size do we choose, right? I think in this spot we're representing... 5, 7, or a bluff, right? So our value range really when we bet, especially if we go big, if we go small, we could represent a lot of different things. If we go big, we're representing 5, 7, or a bluff. Um, I think that, you know, he might have aces up or something like this, and he seemed like a smart guy, seemed like smart enough to fold. So in this case, I'm going to go big. I bet 11,000 bluffing. And if you're like, well, you have ace 10, that's not a bluff. I'm like, but it is. You don't think ace 10 is good when the guy bets, bets two streets, and you have the nut flush draw. So he thinks for a little bit lays it down um yeah so again thought process there is we got all the straight blockers blocker blocker blockers we got the enough flush draws is we got well i don't even i mean you could call it showdown value if you like i don't really think that's much showdown value not not when he bets twice but we win okay there's a hand you don't want to have in this game which is kind of annoying sometimes when they when they know what you have but i have to call i call I call you have just an eight, right? Yeah. Okay, I have a pair of aces, obviously. And you have oh the straight draws and everything. Alright, we're in trouble here. Okay, we need another deuce. Ooh, King, how the hell did you miss? That's impossible. I'm running hot. I got a lot of chips now. Man, I'm winning all the all ins this year. I'm running a four of them. Yeah, you poor kid. You poor kid. You shouldn't have shaved your head. Samson Delilah thing. It's your own fault. I got him covered. Yeah, you got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah, you got him covered. I get it all. Look at that. How did aces win? Jesus. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Anyone tell you you're looking really hot today? Your pecs, bro. Fuck. And they're I've on heard fire. that many times, Daniel. Sexy ass pecs. You're sick. You always have that voice when you talk. Buddy, you're. Face. I mean, no, but bro, your pecs right now. What, oh, what's up? You've been, you've been lifting? You've been lifting? I've been lifting. All right. Nice hat. I get to see you from over here. It's pretty. You should have drafted me. Nah. Yeah. We're going to see. We're going to see, Daniel. We're going to see. All right. We'll do something there, sexy pecs. <laughs> All right. We can't complain. We got chips over here. Yeah, we got a decent view. That'll be game three. Score looks like Florida. One nothing. 
All right, taking a video of this just to make sure we verify all this is right. 168,000 is what we got. I always do this when I get the black chips just in case there's an error. Because you get these, who knows what they give you, happens. So we've got video evidence, 168, off to dinner break we go. All right, dinner time means we got an hour. We're gonna dim the lights a little bit. We're gonna get in the bed. We're gonna put on the laptop, watch the game. You know, nap if we can't, well, we can't really nap. We wanna watch the game, we wanna see. Anyway, it's a good one, one, one. Still, we got a, you know, big TV up there. I'd rather lay though, get some rest. Um, still a long way to go. These, these, uh, these 10 a.m. starts, man, they make you play. They make you work hard to get through today too. And that's what our plan is, 168, really big stack. You're not gonna believe what I found at my new table. You're not gonna believe what I found at my two table. Is that the guy? Is hey. that the Phil Locke? Hey. It is, nobody sees you anymore. Where have you been? Just listening to Bill, Bill Maher on Bill the Bill That's it? That's I'm all you do? Well, that's what I'm doing No, now. but I'm saying we haven't seen you in years. Oh. Uh, been around. He's been around. <laughs> yeah, I've been around. There's a camera in your face. Not at, not at the table here. Huh? I wasn't here. It's like, I wasn't right here. <laughs> Until about an hour ago. I got you, okay. There we go, Phil Lock. All right, another race off, another collection here of some chips. We got 243, camera approved, 243. So when we come back, we better have 243. All right, we are very near the bubble, like 15, 20 left. I've got a good stack, 243, which is what I said. Um, so yeah, opening now. I'm like, this is the great thing about PLO bubbles. If you know what you're doing, you basically can open every hand because in PLO equities run so close, people just way overfold. So I'm opening on the button cutoffs. Early position, I'm still showing some respect to the game because, you know, people could have hands. But generally, late position, nobody in, I'm in. Okay, so here's the deal. I'll walk away to the table. But we're three out of the money. We're on the bubble. The problem for me is the two guys on my, the guys on my left are like super short. Give no fucks at all. <laughs> playing hands, you know, like, yo, 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 yo. You know, they don't give a fuck. So other people, but I, I'm like not playing a hand on the bubble, which is kind of silly. There is one other guy I think who has more chips than me. Um, and he's pretty active, but yeah, I mean, listen, it's, it's, I don't have to play hands. It's not, it's worth a little bit, but if you have a table that doesn't allow that, my man Josh over there, he's uh, at a table where even as a short stack, they're letting them, you know, bully the thing. But for me, we'll just play good poker. Good, solid PLO. Ace, king, queen, jack, double suited. That's it. Okay, so we are in the money, but in PLO, people just bust really quickly. And what happens is, I guess, they're running behind on getting people to process. So we're pausing right now. Small mistake, I think, in that when they're pausing for this and not pay jumps, the clock should stop. Not when the last table's done, but when the first. Because why are, you know, it's not, it's not a hand-for-hand -hand situation. It's just them catching up. So there should have been an extra four minutes on the clock. I am not gonna fight for it, you know, crazy. More important things are going on in the world and we're in about four minutes. Um, we're sitting pretty, we got uh, 330,000. I'll tell you, know what, while we're here, let's do a, can I do a hand breakdown right here? Let's do a hand breakdown. What the hell? Ready? Put the crap, boom, boom, boom. Hand breakdown right here from the, from the, from the rail. So I'm sitting on 300K or of like 250 and the button has more, he has 300. At two and 4,000, he opens the 10 from the button. I have the Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, Ten of Spades, Eight of Diamonds, so Badoogie. With these Aces out of position against the Deep Stack, I don't want to free bid this hand. There's not a lot of great flops for me because I don't have enough flush draw. I just have fake ones. I want to keep the pot small. I call. Flop comes. Queen, Seven of Diamonds, Four of Spades. I check. He bets 15k. Call. And the turn was the King of Hearts. I check. He bets 35k. Now I'm getting a little worried, but listen, I can't fold yet, right? Uh, he did a jack, a lot of two pair of stuff. River is the ace of diamonds. I do have one diamond in my hand. I considered making a block bet of like 12K, um, but I elected to check because the, he does, the king of the king is not a diamond on the turn. So I, I thought about block betting with because I had the eight of diamonds, but I thought, again, him betting the turn, a lot of the, the hands that he's betting the turn with is going to be like king X of diamonds. So he just made the nuts. So I'm just going to waste that bet. I'm going to bet and he's going to raise. So I checked the three aces. And he checked back quickly with three seven. So we got lucky there. We needed a jack or an ace. And the deck bailed us out. So, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Hand breakdowns from the rail. Now I don't know what's going on. We're just hanging out. It's gonna be a late night. Late night, early restart. And we got we got all kinds of shit going on. <laughs> I don't even know. Remember when I said before in a previous blog, I said like, we'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of figuring out. There's a lot of tournaments going on. All right, while we're here, I just put one in the oops meter I just put one in and then I just took it out. 
I'll talk to these guys. It's, yeah, I can't really fold because here was the situation. It was a PLO pot, it was raised, I called the button. Um, the big blind goes all in short. It looks like aces, it doesn't have to be necessarily. Comes ace, deuce, three of spades. I have queen, four of spades with jack, 10 of clubs. Um, so I have the queen I flushed. Check, on the side pot, I bet 10K, something small. Super small, there was already 135, like 120 in the pot. I bet 10K, he calls. Turns a deuce, pairs the board. So now that if he does have the aces, I'm dead. Check, check, river is like a random seven. Guy bets 20K super small but here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking like if this guy has aces full then i'm playing 20 to win like 40. i'm not getting that good a price that he has like a, a worse hand and it doesn't seem like he's bluffing question is is he betting worse how flushes so my guy on my right from belgium thinks so he thinks he thinks we bet some more flushes so i was going to be very hard on myself he says i was a tough critic and he says I, he would bet weaker flushes so we're not calling it a big mistake we're not calling it doesn't doesn't it's call a it very good call it's a, push. it's a very good call. very i don't know about very i mean it, it's okay Long, but it, longer term it's you wouldn't love it call. but you wouldn't be like yes you're making baby. money over time right but you wouldn't be like yes call baby Woo! i hardly do that so. you would be like shit all right here take my point anyway not a mistake all right so we raised my man went all in you went pot i'm all in pot pot Everybody's pot pot. I got the hand in PLO that you always want. You, you can't lose. He has the aces also. I got a king and a deuce. I got spades. So we need spades, I guess. Spades will be good. One spade. No, no diamond. Okay. So, do you get any of it over there, bud? Nope. All right, we're gonna chop it then. You want to chop it? Let's yeah, chop it. All right, I'll take my money back. You take your money back, and let's split the rest. Phew! <laughs> All right, we made it through another day in a big tournament with 120 players. It started with 2,000. Forget these 10K. I'll just play with the people, man of the people every day. We got uh, 289,000. Average is about 330. We're doing good. We're winning. But you know who didn't win was the Vegas Golden Knights. Two minutes away they were from a 3 nothing stranglehold in the series. Florida ties it up, pulls the goalie, wins it in overtime. Now we got a series. It's 2-1, which means a game five will be back here in Las Vegas. We'll have to work that around that. And uh, as far as what we're doing, we're going to go home. It's almost 2 a.m. I didn't think I'd be playing many 2 a.m. nights, but we are. 2 a.m. finish. We're back at noon. So straight home, straight to bed, right? Straight home, straight to bed, wake up, fresh and ready, do it all over again. Thanks for joining me on the ride, Toops. Till tomorrow.